So, the game that allows you to play as God. Universe Sandbox. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is create a, an accretion disk, because I think accretion disks are kinda cool. Black hole, just one solar mass. Yeah, right there. And, um, I don't know, random object. And there we go. Now that's a nice accretion disk. Shame it's kind of a, kind of dark. You can't really see the fragments. It needs to be a little closer. Now let me try again. There we go, it's uh, shining very bright, very nice, but uh, I actually want to see the matter fall into the black hole, so it's time to open up a new simulation. Drop mercury on it and uh, whoa. Not gonna lie, that's that's kind of cool, but uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not quite what I had in mind. I have shattered mercury into a thousand pieces. That's That's kind of a win. Not gonna lie there. Still, yeah, we need a, we need a, another simulation. All right, so now let's just grab Mercury and uh, and uh, let's uh, whoa, what? Hold on. What? Um, Universe Sandbox. You got it backwards. It's it's the black hole that's supposed to absorb the mass of mercury, not not the other way around. What's it even made of? Yeah, so there's some iron there, some silica too. Mostly hydrogen. I um I uh I have no words to describe this. Anyway, nothing else to do but to throw chunks at it, I suppose. So, let's throw even more stuff, see how big it gets. And I can actually go through the surface, that's... That's... Wow. Now it's getting visibly bigger. I still don't think it's getting big enough, so let's... I think it's time we, we just chunk planets into it. Here goes one Jupiter. And it actually got smaller. Uh, the sun got smaller and that's that's a nice chunk of fragments right there. I decided to throw another one because why not? I want to see just how big it can get. Man, some of these fragments are big. Like planet sized big. I decided to throw Uranus into it, just to see if it got any larger, but it seems to be continuously exploding matter out. Look at it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's gorgeous. It just keeps spewing stuff out. J just look at it. It's, it's actually kind of pretty, not gonna lie. Look at the amount of objects. Just how, how, how is my computer running this? By mass, Mercury now is actually smaller, but its radius is nearly five times that of the Sun. I'm afraid this thing just might blow up. So, let's make it blow up. Yeah, now I just decided to just chuck several Uranus into the, into the Sun, repeatedly, out of boredom. I mean the Sun, I mean Mercury, because this is Mercury. By the way, I decided to, to throw Neptunes at it now, but what if the Neptunes escaped? So, um, yeah. I could do more about it, but um, I kind of don't want to. It's getting, whoa, it's getting very bright and, what? What happened? It lost mass. It's smaller and in the it's 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 an it's become a neutron star. Oh. Why did it become a neutron star? Maybe it's because it had iron in its core? And so it immediately caused a supernova explosion? Though I kinda missed the supernova. Which is um uh kind of odd. 
I can't handle it. How did I turn Mercury into a neutron star? Oh well. Let's let's just add more mass into it and see what happens. Two thousand, two hundred thousand, two million, and uh, finally, finally, it's, and now it's a black hole. That's also a neutron star somehow. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand the, uh, the, the the physics behind this. I don't think it should be. I don't think there's such a thing as a neutron star in a black hole. Anyway, I'm bored of the simulation. Let's throw, let's throw a black hole at the at the solar system. See what happens. All right. So um, again, just a one solar mass black hole. We don't want to break the solar system too much. And uh, see what happens. Yeah, it's still pretty far away. It's not moving very quickly, but I mean, it is going to hit the solar system eventually. But it's it's definitely taking longer than what I would have expected. Still very far away. I decided to speed up the simulation for a little bit, and uh, it really hasn't helped. The, the black hole was very far away. Anyway, I've noticed that the sun is starting to go up, and um, that might be bad. Anyway, I think the black hole's getting closer, and oh my god, the sun's getting close too. Oh god, they're gonna hit each other. It's not gonna be the black hole passing through the solar system. They're going to hit each other. If it's any consolation, I, I think I think planet Earth is going to be fine. I think I think it's too close to the sun to fly out of orbit, so it it um I mean I hope it doesn't happen. But the two sides are approaching. They're getting closer together, and it might actually pose a problem to planet Earth because uh, it's it's getting it's gonna pass very close to the sun. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if a binary system formed. To be honest, here we go. Oh no, oh, oh, I think I've ended human life. Oh, Earth was really unlucky. It flew very close to the black hole in yeah, I don't think, I don't, th I don't think uh, human life uh, can go on like this. Not with the insane variations of temperature. They go anywhere from like, even at best, it's, it's, it's about 15 degrees Celsius hotter. And, um, at worst, it's over 53. Also, the sun appears to have uh, taken the lion's share of the, uh, of the solar system. The sun took Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, but really, the black hole, it, it took pretty much everything else. Not that it matters, because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think that the black hole and the sun are orbiting around each other. Still, it, if, uh, if... If a black hole shows up r very near our uh, our solar system, in the position that I put it in, um, it seems that we still have like um, a millennium and a half to go. So um, you know we'll we'll long be dead once uh, once such a thing happened. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.